All right. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Mariona Ruiz, and I'm a product manager at Neuroelectrics. And today we're going to tell you a bit about our company, how it started, and what it is that we do. So Neuroelectrics is an interesting case. It actually started as a spin-off of Starlab. Starlab was a private research center in Barcelona that was founded in the year 2000 by Anna Maikes and Giulio Ruffini. So that company was founded with the intention to drive research, drive innovation through research that was funded more in the sense of a private small company, making it very agile and making it react to market demands uh, easily, but always very research driven and with innovation in mind through rigorous uh, investigations. So in the year 2000, one of the outcomes of this research company was uh, Neuroelectrics. You might be familiar with our company, uh, but for those who aren't, we are a creative high-tech company offering the best-in-class non-invasive stimulation. Um, it's a high-definition transcranial stimulation for personalized neuromodulation. So by measuring and modifying brain function, what we aim is to restore brain health uh, and minimize disabilities to create a better life for patients of neurological uh, conditions. So over the last few years, uh, as I said, we have now over 13 years of experience. We have heavily collaborated with the researchers that use our devices for their for the investigations. And we account with a large number of publications, over 400 in different fields. Um, and that is also a proven track uh, of, of the efficacy of our devices and of their versatility, taking into account the different places where they have been used. Um, plus, we also have two offices, actually, so the headquarters are here in Barcelona, but in the year 2014, we opened another office in Boston, which is another cradle of biomedical uh, innovations, as you know. And over the years, what has been nice is that we already have a global outreach or network of people using our devices in different countries, 74, um, and that means that we have a lot of input uh, of the use of our devices. So I'm talking about these devices, right? What, what are they? So I brought one of them with me here. Um, this is one of our products. In particular, this one is Enovio, the one you see in the screen. And it's a wireless EEG device. It provides a high quality EEG recording with no cables, as you see, except the ones going to the electrodes, right? Um, and we offer it in 820 and 32 channels. So you have different types of density for your EEG experiments. This is one of the legs of our company, right? Which is these EEG devices that are actually medical. So they are CE marked and FDA cleared in the US. But another thing that our company does are the Starsteam devices, which might look the same on the surface, right? But these ones are the ones that provide transcranial stimulation. Um, these devices are currently on their way to obtain their medical certification, which means that with these ones, uh, similar to our colleagues that have presented before, we're under clinical trials to obtain certification for particular uses to treat specific diseases. So even though we have these two legs, the company has a very clear mission, which is to revolutionize the understanding and treatment of the brain through new personalized neuromodulation therapies, anywhere at that any time, right? Enabled by the wireless kind of characteristic that these devices have. Our vision is to accelerate the evolution of brain science. We have this very, very strong research background in our company. Um, but also push technology forward and have this uh, business-driven uh, vision to deliver the solutions actually to the market, right? And, and have an impact by ending the suffering of patients with these pathologies. So, of course, uh, our goal is to revolutionize brain therapy using these technologies that were conceived uh, by, by research mainly. And in particular, for the clinical trials that I mentioned, uh, we are tackling these indications. Uh, epilepsy, for example, is uh, the main one that we're working on. We have also worked in depression and Alzheimer's disease, all the while we're trying to achieve this certification for these particular intended uses and collaborating with research centers, hospitals, etc. Um, so, of course, managing some products that are in the market, but also trying to achieve certification for others is a great effort and the only way to achieve it is through a multidisciplinary team. Our company is uh, well, made up by, by very different departments and all of them have to try to manage, right? Having products in the market already, but also trying to achieve uh, this uh, medical degree uh, stimulation for a future of the treatment as we see it, right? So I'm gonna give you a bit of a view also from our department in particular, which is the product department, because I think it's a great example of this collaboration between teams. 
So first of all, uh, we think it's key to collect product feedback and to have a good relationship with people that are using your device. This has been mentioned also before in the rest of presentations. And here we have a, a good advantage and we're lucky to already be providing these devices and selling these devices because this means we have customers to get feedback on the usability from. And this helps us accelerate and improve the devices that we're developing as well. Um, but it's key to have a close relationship with the people that are using your device and the users, because we, we might have to profile here the doctors and the patients themselves. Um, also, as it has been mentioned before, so a good development or an, a good innovation without a particular uh, application might just stay in theory. So it's important that to create value, you need to have a technology that has a demand. There's someone that actually has this need and that you are working together with them to cover for it. And finally, uh, it's a must, and it might be obvious, right? But we need a strong regulatory and quality department. We're talking about medical devices as well. So it's important to work in collaboration with these uh, departments that are uh, at the same time working with the organizations at a country and national level and also at an international level. Um, and yeah, you might see here, there's a small uh, hint at what we do in the department product management, which uh, is a very kind of business type of, uh, let's say, department that might not be so popular in the academic uh, environment, is actually key because what it does is collaborate between the technology, the knowledge we get from customers, but also the business orientation. So I think it's a great example of a bit what the hub could even uh, be or have as a, as a, yeah, as a value to drive it. And of course, we were asked what we would expect and not expect from the hybrid neuro hub. And here's our opinions. Uh, I think they coincide with something that was mentioned before as well. But essentially, we think that it has to be a platform that fosters productive synergies and that actually enables testing the technologies, in particular in clinical settings, in an affordable and efficient way. It's something very challenging. So it would be a great opportunity to allow these technologies to actually be tested in the place that they will be implemented. Also provide opportunities to pitch to investors. Uh, so there has to be a component of economical incentive here. And also to share resources on how to raise capital, how to validate the technology. So it's always important to have people that can orient you on, this, on these matters. And what it shouldn't do or what it shouldn't be is just stay at the level of being a networking only space or list of contacts, right? So it has to be a proactive environment. Um, it would be a mistake to no, not have access to funding because this is how uh, all these innovations can actually reach the customers and, and, and reach the patients in this case. Um, very early stage projects might not benefit from actually being able to be tested and, and taken forward. And finally, it would be also uh, important to have collaborations with established entities so that, again, we can accelerate the process to move technology forward. And so that's it from us. We have some resources that you can uh, check out and a website, et cetera, with all the publications as well, if you're interested. Um, and thank you very much.